Many legal processes are manual and time-consuming. That does not make them any less important. With automation from UiPath, you can automate those repetitive legal tasks with a high degree of confidence. As a result, you can free up your team for more creative and critical work. Here's how UiPath's own legal department uses UiPath robots to automate the export control audit process. This process checks if parties are on national sanctions or other restricted lists before we do business with them. By automating this process, we're saving over 2,000 hours of effort every year, as well as decreasing the risk of working with sanctioned or restricted parties. In the first part of the automation, the robot accesses the websites of the US government, the European Commission and the United Nations to download the lists of clients that these entities have declared suspect. In addition, the robot is programmed to run at night and have the documents ready for the team in the morning. Let's start the process. The first website is sanctionsmap.eu. The robot downloads all the lists according to each category of the website. There's a grand total of 111 documents. But for the purpose of this demo, the robot will only download seven of them. Each document is automatically opened and the text is saved in a local file. The robot then downloads the relevant lists from the United Nations website, saves them into a local file, and indexes it for a more effective search. Up next, the robot then accesses the US government website, export.gov, and the website of the US Department of the Treasury to download those consolidated lists. Finally, the robot turns to the European Union website. Because this website requires a login, the robot uses the attorney's login credentials for the website, then downloads the consolidated sanctions list. This completes the first part of the automation. The second part of the automation checks specific clients for verification. The robot first connects to a website. The login sequence is momentarily implemented through Google Authentication, but any other login method, including single sign-on and two-factor authentication, could also be implemented. Once connected to the main page, the robot then either asks the attorney to manually insert the names of the companies or individuals that we need to verify, or can automatically pull them from an Excel file. The file which I'm about to use contains three clients that I want to check. UiPath, a generic name which will most likely return positive results, and an individual featured in the international export control lists. I imported the clients using the second method, the Excel file. Once the Excel file is uploaded, you can always add other clients manually if needed. I will now forward the lists for checking. The message informs you that your answer will be sent via email. The robot will work in the background and we'll get our answer shortly. If any potential clients are found to be suspect, a separate email will be sent to the legal department's email address and each suspect's potential clients can be individually checked afterwards. Let's see what the answers look like. The three clients that I've asked verification for look like this. The UiPath client is clean. The generic name bank is declared suspect on various websites. Having a common name, it most likely got labeled as suspect by most search engines. The last client is also declared a suspect. You may also notice that the country Iran has also been labeled as suspect on various search engines. You'll find the return results in URL or a specific list in which the potential client has been declared suspect within the notes column, followed by the date on which the search has been made, together with the person who has requested the search. A secured Excel file is also saved to a database for audit purposes. Let's take a closer look at the audit trail the robot provides. We log in again to the same website as before. The full list of results can be found in the Results tab. I'm logged in with an administrator account, which means I have access to all the queries submitted by all the agents. On that note, a typical agent will be displayed with only his queries. We can filter the results to identify specific queries. For example, I will now search for the three queries I have submitted today. Notice the three clients I have submitted earlier. 
together with their statuses and specific notes returned by the robot, meaning the lists in which they have been found a suspect, as well as a link with the name of the audit file saved on Google Drive. The results can also be exported in an Excel file format. And that sums up the automated export control process. I hope you find it useful, and thank you for watching. To learn more, visit us at uipath.com.